Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and in this video we're going to be unboxing a couple of new premium thin line NIV Bibles from Zondervan. I'm not going to wait any longer, I'm going to dive in. Oh, go. that's a nice kind of modern look on there from Zondervan. This is really so are you ready for the box house? Which way should I go? Should I go towards you? Right off the edge. Let's go. <laughs> it does have a... All right, if you've watched my channel very long, you know that I love thin line Bibles. I grew up with an NIV thin line Bible. It was like my everyday go-to Bible. I actually shared this story about how um, I, I stole a Bible from the church, lost and found. I didn't steal it. I borrowed it for a fall retreat, like my sophomore or junior year of high school. I took it with me. I loved it so much, and I forgot to give it back to the lost and found. So some of the most formative like faith journey that I've ever had was with a sort of stolen NIV thin line Bible. I then had an ESV thin line Bible. I've reviewed a lot of thin lines. I just, I love that size, that form factor. It really works really well for me. And Zondervan has some new NIV thin lines coming out. And in this box are two of the new ones and they are premium premier collection editions. I haven't really taken a look at these online. I know that they're coming out, but I haven't really seen what they're all about. I'm excited to check these out. Are you ready? I got my B cam right here. What's up? I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to dive in. Oh, that opened easy. Here we go. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, right here. Yes. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put my knife away so I don't hurt myself. I see thin line Bible in here. Okay. New international version, thin line Bible. There you go. That's a nice kind of modern look on there from Zondervan. This is really cool. It says premium goatskin brown leather. Okay. Get this out of here. Exact same box. It's not the same. Ooh, this says that it's coral. The color is coral leather. Now I haven't seen a couple of pictures of this online. That's really nice. Are you ready for the box house? Which way should I go? Should I go towards you? Right off the edge. Off the cliff. Looks nice. Okay. Readable, elegant, nine-point print size. It's going to be the NIV Comfort Print Typeface. Premium goatskin, brown on one, coral on the other. Lots of different features. 36 GSM paper, two-color page design, black text, generous yap, European Bible paper, NIV, Smite Zone binding, edge line construction, the best of the best when it comes to the Premier Collection, a fantastic line of Bibles. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let's do this. I know it's going to be wrapped up in the black paper, so I'll get this out real quick. This one is brown. This reminds me a lot of Zondervan released the NASB 2020 in a brown goatskin Bible uh, thin line earlier this year. And that's that might be one of my favorite Bibles of the year. I'm going to make a video of my favorite Bibles of 22. And I love... Whoa, this is very similar to that. Whoa, that's nice. Okay, let me set this aside real quick. Really beautiful, lovely, pebbly grain goatskin. Check that out. Nice raised spine hubs on the spine there. Holy Bible, NIV. This looks a lot like that um, NASB edition. It's got blue under gold art gilding. That's nice. The, that NASB 2020, I think that was one that had the Gofford page edges. It looked really nice. This is great. Edge lined construction. Blue under gold is a really nice touch. Let me get these ribbons out of here. So that, that makes sense because they kind of use blue as like a theme color in the NIV for uh, Zondervan, and I can see it inside. It's got blue accents on the page. This is really nice. Just the size of this, right? Like, I don't have very big hands, and you can see, like, it's about the size of my hand. I think it's going to be about a five, five and a half by eight inch Bible, but it's very, very thin. That's really nice. This is a great size Bible. This is very much what I remember from that NIV Bible I had as a kid. Just a leveled up version of that with a really nice piece of goat skin on it, a perimeter stitch, around the edge, raised spine hubs, three gorgeous ribbons, like a navy and a brown and a gold ribbon. Look at that. This is very, very classy. It looks great, feels great. Let's see it here. Opens up really flat, straight out of the box. Blue accents on the page for the section headings, the page headers, the chapter numbers, even down here in the footnotes, there's some blue accents. On the page this is a really nice bible let me show you this nine point typeface very readable nice opaque 36 gsm the the european paper they use in these premier collection bibles from thomas nelson and zondervan is absolutely beautiful really great feel and and this is very readable for a nine point typeface just looking at this first impressions this is this is really great. Now, of course, as always, I'm going to do a full review where I'll do an overhead and I'll give you a closer look at both of these Bibles uh, side by side. This is just first impressions 
looks really nice. I love that pop of color right there. First Corinthians. That's that's really good. This is great. It's got um, glossy Bible maps in the back. It does not have a concordance anything, so it goes straight from Revelation 22. There's a table of weights and measures, and there's Bible maps. So you're not getting cross-references. You're not getting a bunch of extra study tools. It's a thin line, on-the-go Bible. I like that. It's not something you're going to sit down at your desk maybe and study with, although it is quite readable for that. But it feels like a really portable, uh, thin line. If you're familiar with thin line Bibles, if you've ever had a thin line, this kind of ticks all of those boxes, and it does in a really nice premium binding with finishes and touches. Are you ready to see the coral one? I know I am. I think I think they went a little bit extra on this one. I know the folks at Zondervan were excited about this one. Let's go. <laughs> it does have a floral print design in the art gilding. That is cool. This is, this is, oh, that is a gorgeous color. Wow. It's, it's bold. It's a very bold coral pink color, but it's nice. I don't think I've seen anything else like this. I'm trying to get you in my studio lights, this B cam, it looks a little bit more orange. It's, it's a very kind of straight up coral pink color. I, I think it looks nice. It's very nice. But then you can see on the, on the spine here, they've gone with this floral design. Look at that. And then wait for you to see the, until you see the art gilding. Pow! Instead of like gaufered page, maybe this is a type of gauffering, but this is, it's got a floral print on there. Okay, guys, this might not, the pink Bible with the flowers all over it might not be your thing, but guess what? I, we're growing our audience here on the channel to include like, now there's a lot of guys watching these videos. I'm gonna be honest. I can see like the demographics. Well, whatever you tell YouTube, but there's a lot of women who are starting to watch these Bibles. And I think it's cool that publishers are, are keeping them in mind. These are beautiful ribbons. You have the gold and that navy, but then they added a pink ribbon in there. So you have some different colors. That looks nice. This is fair. Yeah, it's girly. It's got, it's got a floral design to it, but this looks really, it's very cool how intricate that is in there there's that you can see that design and then when you open it up you kind of just get a little bit of it on the edges there same type setting on the inside so it's going to be the exact same bible as far as the the blue accents the page layout all that stuff so it's it's literally the same the same bible um that's a really it's a, i love the inside of this bible but then the, the features of this one are you know kind of a a, a more floral pattern very soft and floppy this looks great okay so there, there they are side by side on the spine so one's a little bit more clean so the brown one is definitely clean classic brown pretty safe I, i'm all about zondervan checking that out and trying it um the pink one is is definitely something different and new and i like it i'm i'm proud of them for trying different stuff uh, a lot of publishers this year have started to, to branch out and try new things and try new colors and try new designs and i think that's that's good i think it it makes the Bible accessible to more people. Maybe you look at this and you're like, I don't want to carry that around. But maybe you look at this and go, yes, that's the kind of Bible I want. So I'm, I'm all about that. So that's really cool. Two great new premium thin line options. These are not going to break the bank, but they are very nice. The Premier Collection is a ton of bang for the buck. I think you get a lot of a lot of good Bible for your money um, for what you pay for the Premier Collection, and it's these these feel really really nice in hand. So it makes a great first impression. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review of these Bibles, and one of the things that I ask in my unboxing videos is for you to send me any questions you have about this. That way, when I do the full review, I can try to cover all of those things. So if you have questions about these Bibles, the design, anything like that, drop those in the comments. I mean, the question of the video would be, which one of these would you go for and why? Would you pick the brown one or would you pick the coral one? Leave that in the comments as well if you'd like to engage in a little dialogue about that. Um, as always, I want to take some photos of these. I'll drop them on Bible Review Blog's Instagram and Facebook accounts. I'll put some links in the description of this video. As I'm recording this video, these Bibles are just now coming out, so they're very new. So I'll put some links to where you can find them online. And definitely, like I said, check back for that full review. Shout out to my friends at Zondervan for sending me these. These are really, really beautiful. And thank you for watching. Definitely hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great content like this. Bible content here on YouTube, unboxing videos, Bible reviews, lots of fun Bible-related content. I would love for you to be one of my subscribers. And if you're already a subscriber, click that little join button below this video and find out what it would look like to become a member here on the channel to support what I'm doing and to kind of get a little bit of extra access, things like that. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.